thank you for tuning in to Overcoming Life. I am your host, Opal Bailey, on TNR Radio Station. And my topic today is communication. How to get out what you have to say without yelling, throwing things, being rude to one another, and how to really listen to the other person. Sometimes we think communication is getting the upper hand on someone or, you know, making sure you get your point across and you disregard someone else's point. But you know what? Communication is just listening, listening to what the other person is saying to you, letting the other person know you are valuable to me enough that I want to hear what you have to say. So I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to sit down and I'm going to let you tell me how you feel. That is positive communication. You're letting the other person know how valuable, how precious their words and their thoughts and their opinion matters to you. And by doing that, they're going to be more willing to open up. They're going to be more willing to discuss situations or circumstances or even to express how they feel about things in their life or what's going on in their life just because you're willing to listen. Communication is not just speaking all the time. It is taking the stand to say, I don't have to be the forerunner in everything. I don't have to be the one to dictate the conversation. I'm going to just wait and let this person, my wife or my boss or my children, talk to me about what's going on with them. Do you know that if you listen to people and really give attention to what they're saying, that they can tell you a whole lot about their life that you never knew about? They can tell you things that you never even dreamed what was going on in their life just by listening, just by taking the time, a second, a moment, a minute from your busy schedule, whether you have to get to that meeting, you have to get to that, you got to meet this deadline, but just saying, what is it you want to say? I'm right here. I'm listening. I have one minute, but you're worth that one minute. And just talking to them, just saying something to them that will encourage them to let them know that what they're thinking and what they're saying and how they're feeling, they're valid feelings. They have the right to feel that way, but you're also letting them know how much their feelings matter to you. And by you sharing that with them and wanting to talk it out instead of yelling it out or throwing things to get your point across, you'll win their heart. Isn't it all, isn't it what communication is all about is winning the heart, knowing the heart of the person? What benefit would it be if we can't touch the heart of people? We just hit the surface, but never the heart because that's where change is, is in the heart. You can have someone who is mean and nasty and yelling, but the moment their heart is changed, the moment you touch that heart, in their body, their heart, that heart right there, they can change instantly. My mom always said, you get more with honey. (laughs) You can get more with honey, being sweet, being nice, talking softly instead of yelling, being respectful. That's another way of communication. Is respecting the other person enough to listen. Cherishing what they have to say above what you want to hurry up and get out and tell them. And really listening to them and really taking in what they have to say. And this also go vice versa. Them willing to listen to what you have to say and take in what you want to give to them. And they dissect it and they invest in it and they become a part of what you're trying to say to where they can change as well as you change. And your communication becomes stronger. Your communication becomes more positive because we all communicate. Some people communicate negatively, 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 yelling and screaming and throwing things and cursing and all kinds of slamming doors, jumping off the cars, getting back in the car. But you know what? You also have positive communication. And it comes from, one, respect for the other person. You're not going to listen to anyone you don't respect. 
You're not going to want to hear what someone has to say if you don't respect who they are. So this week, focus on how we can become a positive listener in conversations you have throughout the day. And it could be with your spouse. It could be with your children. It could be with your teacher. It could be with your boss. It could be with your, a neighbor, your closest friend, who may just want to come over and talk to you about their troubles, but you want to have that answer because you want to be that super person to give them the answer that they need. And sometimes they just want you to just be quiet and just listen to them. Most of the time, we just want someone to be able to talk to, not so much of them telling us what to do or dictating us what we should have done or what we could have done. And I won't take this and I won't do that. But just to be just to be there, we all want to be loved and we all want respect and we all want to know that we matter. And that's what communication shows us is we matter to someone who is willing to take that and run with it and show them that you do matter. Communication, I remember when I was growing up as a little girl, we would sit at dinner table. And we would sit there and we would talk at the dinner table and we would communicate with one another. Now, there are times when before my mom and dad will yell at each other. But after a while, they learned the yelling wasn't getting anywhere. It was just making our home so disrupt disruptive and chaotic to where we didn't want to be in there. So eventually they caught on and we started to gel together. So when we had dinner, we all sat together eating, laughing, talking about what's going on. And out of that, it taught me as a single mom to sit the table, set the table for dinner. We all sat at the table. We all ate. And guess what? We talked to one another. That's how I found out things that was going on in school that the teachers didn't even tell. Or how my children was feeling when they got bullied. Or how my children were feeling when I said something I didn't know that upset them, but it did. And they've tell me at the dinner table and you're like, Oh, and then you're able to work it out. You're able to come in and join in together to make it better for the other person. And the most important thing you're validating their feelings because our feelings are valid. And if you want to cry, you should cry. Why should we stop crying? That is a, that is a mechanism, a healing mechanism that God put in us is tears. So when you go throughout life this week, Take the time and just listen. Take the time and let someone know that they matter more than your own suggestions or your own comments. Tell them that you're willing and able to listen and you want them to know how much their opinion matters to you. I just want to thank you again for tuning in to Overcoming Life. I am your host, Opal Bailey, on TNR Radio Station. You can continue to listen to me every Monday morning from 9, 17 a.m. And remember, open up those ears and listen and see where communication takes you. God bless.